<coughs> and good afternoon, everybody. I will uh, give you a short view of a quite comprehensive uh, study we made last year for Alma Media. It's about a case study about the media products of Alma Media. So what was studied? Uh, we looked at the most significant environmental impacts of both print and online media. Um, printed Aamulehti, Iltalehti and Kauppalehti were analyzed by VTT. And the online websites Kauppalehti, Iltalehti and Kauppalehti.fi were analyzed by KTH Sesk in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden. We used uh, life cycle analysis as a tool to find the environmental impacts. And uh, the study was a part of the green growth program of TECES, the Finnish funding agency for technology and innovation. So to start with the printed newspaper system, um, we gathered data from all the life cycle stages, starting with the fiber supply, the harvesting of uh, wood, the wood transports to the paper manufacturing, including pulp and paper production, per se energy, and the manufacturing of chemicals and other materials involved in that. Then we had the printing house, the production of the purchased energy and the manufacturing and printing ink and plates. Then also the content production, including the journalists' work, uh, the energy and laptops used for, for making the content to be print printed on the paper. Then this uh, newspaper was transported to the user. There was no direct emissions of the use phase for the newspaper, the printed one. And then the last phase was the recycling and waste management where uh, the best option, of course, recycling, but also combustion and some went to landfill. <coughs> Here also a list uh, of the life cycle phases of a printed newspaper from cradle to grave. Uh, I want to emphasize that the print printing, uh, printing plant uh, data was from year 2010, and all the energy used... Uh, in both uh, news, uh, the printed and the online cases were, were Finnish five years average. And uh, then this system produced more recyclable fiber than this pr uh, system could use. So we also uh, included avoided emissions. We assumed that these fibers going out of the system would, um, would replace uh, thermomechanical pulp production. Then we have uh, the online newspaper system with content production, online distribution and reading. And also re resources and emission, emissions included with that. Uh, content production is the work of the journalists, etc. And the online distribution is the uploading of the newspaper to the servers and the access of the newspapers by the readers, and this includes also the manufacturing and energy use of the of the servers uh, manu manufacturing and um, and other uh, infrastructure of internet and then the reading of the newspaper from computers and laptops from home or office location, and here also the new the laptop and computer manufacturing uh, uh, and energy use of them when you read uh, as a share for what was from for this online media. So some results. If we look at the printed newspaper, carbon footprint, we see that the black in the bottom is uh, paper mill direct emissions. The largest part comes from purchased electric energy to the paper mill. Then we have the pink part, which is content production and was higher for Kauppalehti because they have more full-time employees than the other one, other, other newspapers. And then the dar dark gray was the printing plant energy, and then the light gray 
the delivery to customer. So these are the phases affecting the carbon footprint of a printed newspaper. Then the online newspaper carbon footprint per year. So iltalehti.fi has the highest impact because they have the highest number of re online readers. And um, uh, the user device, meaning the laptops and computers, have the highest share. But for Iltalehti, also the online distribution had a quite high impact because of the big, larger size of the average downloads, because there's a lot of pictures and films and stuff like that to be downloaded in the iltalehti.fi website. But the impact was distributed in these four life cycle stages of the online newspaper. Then if we look at print and online versions performance per year, uh, on the top we see Aamulehti environmental performance and Aamulehti is more focused on printed newspaper so therefore the printed newspaper has the higher share but Iltalehti and Kaupalehti are more evenly distributed and uh, this is due to the higher amount of readers of the online newspapers almost three times more than for the printed, for Iltalehti and Kauppalehti. So is it possible to compare these, the environmental impacts of different media types? If we look at different functional units, they tell different stories. If we compare uh, print and online versions per reader and week, we see that the, uh, the impact of the online version is uh, lower because it's split on more readers, and that's, that's why it gives a lower impact. Um, but then again, if we go look at print and online versions per reading hour, and here we had in both uh, Kaupaletti as an example, um, the environmental impact for the printed version is lower per reading hour, because the reading time is considerably higher for the printed version. 150 minutes per week for printed Kaupalehti and uh, 11 minutes for Kaupalehti.fi per reader. So they are used in very different ways, these two, two media types. So what were the um, main impact sources? The environmental impact of print media stem from the early stages of the life cycle. So it's the news print production and the electricity used by the printing plant, but also the distribution of the newspaper. While the online media stem from later stages, you have the reading, the computer manufacturing, the reading time, the downloads, and the electricity used for the reading. So conclusions. The different roles and functions of the newspaper should be taken into account when comparing. Um, comparison is not easy because they are very different, the media types. We have very different uh, amou amount of readers and very different reading times. Uh, the printed newspaper generally showed larger environmental impact per year and per reader and week while online versions per re had had uh, lower high, had higher impacts per reading hour and uh, the impacts for printed and online media occur in different parts we have upstream upstream supply chain for printed and end user and separate supply chains that affect for the online so it's for the media comp company easier to affect the upstream the printed media chain then for the for the online and then on the whole the communications and ict sector holds a share of around three percent of the total global impact and the print products then for one percent of the total climate impact of a finnish household so you to get it in the context of the real world so concluding it's it's very hard to compare, and therefore these two media types should not be substituting, but com com completing each other. Thank you. And for more information, contact me and 
if I can't answer, I can send them further to, to my colleague in Stockholm. <laughs>